السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو دس پروگرام آن انگلش ٹینس یو نو وی یوز لینگویج ایچ ڈے وچ ٹاک ٹو ایچ ادر وی ٹاک اباؤٹ آور ایکسپیرینسز دا تھنگس دیٹ وی ڈیڈ دا تھنگس دیٹ وی ول ڈو آور پلانس ان شارٹ وین وی ٹاک ود ایچ ادر وی گیو ریفرنس آف ٹائم ایز ویل ان آل لینگویجز ٹائم ایز سم تھنگ ویری امپورٹنٹ دیٹ از شون ود دا ہیلپ آف سم تھنگ and in english that is verb that is used to show the time now this lecture is going to focus on time with regard to past tense you know there are times past time present time future time and when we talk about past time the verbs in english take different shapes to show that time In this tense there are four subtenses these are past simple tense past perfect tense past continuous tense and past perfect continuous tense first past simple or past indefinite tense as v o s means subject v means verb and o means object that is optional here the sentence says are asim wrote a letter you plucked a flower i boiled an egg in these sentences the verbs write pluck and boil they change into wrote plucked and boiled to show that these things these actions took place in the past here you should be careful in pronouncing certain verbs because although they add ed in the past form they are not pronounced ed they are pronounced t for example it is not plucked it is plucked and there are certain other verbs that you should pronounce carefully the construction of uh, positive sentences is quite easy simply change the verb into past form and add object if it is possible if you need it now the problem is how to change this into negative form not difficult at all simply you have to add did and in negative did not but then the verb will change go back into the first form the base form now look at the first sentence positive sentence asim wrote a letter you know how you will change into negative form asim did not write a letter and why write because did itself shows past tense you did not pluck a flower if you look at this did thing It is the past form of do and once you change do into did that means from present to past it is a shift then you cannot say wrote or plucked this is you did not pluck a flower pluck goes back to the same form the base form because of did question form very easy bring did to the beginning for example did asim write a letter did you pluck a flower in writing you must add a question mark at the end and in speech your tone should be high because it's a question you're asking something it is not a statement now the function you know we use these tenses for some reason and each tense is used for certain reason this tense is used you know what's the logic we use a past tense the simple tense to talk about many kinds of past events short quickly finished actions and happenings longer situations and repeated events it is often used with adverbs of time for example the child broke the glass yesterday atif won the race last evening i got up early in the morning i spent all my life in islamabad Sometimes this tense is used without an adverb of time in such cases the time may be understood or indicated by the context for example napoleon was defeated at waterloo i did not sleep well you know i did not sleep well simply means you're talking about the last night peter learned urdu in pakistan and here maybe the time is not important it is the action of learning 
Similarly, the past simple tense is also used for past habits. For example, Tosif studied for many hours every day. Shaila always carried an umbrella and Adnan always came on time, showing some habit. We also use the past simple to refer to a series of actions taking place one after another. For example, the thief secretly entered the room opened the locker, took all the precious things, and jumped out of the window. The simple past tense is common in storytelling and when we are telling people about past events, you know, in your life you narrate things that happened to you, the things that you experienced. In such situations, you must use past tense. Look at the example. Once upon a time, there was a thirsty crow he flew here and there in search of water. Finally, he found a pitcher of water and came down. Now we move to past continuous or past progressive tense. It's very easy. You simply need to add was or were depending on the subject. So the formula S V O subject verb object sentence Sajid was eating oranges. Here, eating, the base form is eat. Eating ing form is being used because of was. And was tells us it is a past time. And past continues, an action was going on. Second sentence, I was writing a letter. And you were eating an egg. Negative, I think even easier. Sajid was not eating oranges. I was not writing a letter. You were not eating an egg. Now the question form, similarly quite easy. Simply drag was over to the beginning. For example, was Sajid eating oranges? Was I writing a letter? Were you eating an egg? And remember the tone. When you speak something, when you're saying something, your tone has to be high. And in writing, especially, especially in examination, you must add a question mark. Now coming to the function why we use this tense. We use a past continuous tense to talk about an action going on at some time in the past. The time of the action may or may not be indicated. For example, we were listening to the radio all evening. It was getting darker. The children were having fun all the day. The birds were flying all around yesterday. We use past continuous to talk about temporary actions and situations in the past. Kashif met me while I was buying some sweets. When I got home, I saw that water was running down the kitchen walls. I hope you're getting the idea using was or were and then ing form. We also use a past continuous tense to talk about an action that was already going on when another action interrupted it. You know, sometimes you're doing something and suddenly something happens and you stop doing that thing. This is the idea. Few sentences. I was sleeping when someone knocked at the door. And can you guess what happened? I got up. They were having a cup of tea when the telephone rang. Raja was doing his homework when his friend called him. This tense is used to talk about a series of actions going on at the same time in the past. For example, when I entered the room, Sana was beating Kami, Kami was weeping and Shani was laughing at Kami. Some verbs are not used, remember, we don't use these verbs in continuous form because they look odd. For example, the food tasted good. We can't say the food was tasting good. And I liked the picture. We can't say I was liking the picture. In similar fashion, we have got the words like doubt, no, love, hate, prefer, realize, recognize, which can be used in ing form. If you use them in ing form, they look bad. Sometimes they're wrong. They're not used in this way. That's why you should be very clear 
in knowing what words should be avoided in this regard.